Hi everyone, welcome to this 35 minute yin yoga session. Today we're just going to work on de-stressing and releasing tension from the body. We're going to give the body a nice deep stretch too. So go ahead, grab whatever props you have available to you, even if that's just a couple of cushions and a couple of blankets, that'll do. Get into some comfy clothes, hop onto the mat and we'll begin. Okay guys, so we're just going to begin with a short shavasana to allow ourselves to transition into the practice and to allow the body to calm and settle. So go ahead and come onto your back. You can have a cushion there for comfort if you want. Maybe the legs are flat on the floor and if the lower back feels uncomfortable, just take the Knee the feet in, bend the knees and just let those knees rest in together. Maybe let the arms come down to rest into the floor. And allow your body to settle into a comfortable position. And just beginning to give the weight of your body over to the floor. And allowing your body to let go and give its weight over to the floor just a tiny little bit more each time you breathe out. Allow the muscles in the face to soften around the eyes, across the forehead. Let the jaw relax and the tongue relax in the mouth. Breathing in and out through the nose. The shoulders are letting go. Arms are letting go. Palms and fingers are soft. The more you breathe out, the more you begin to let go. around the breath, relaxing the chest and lungs, maybe allowing the belly to rise and fall a little bit more as you breathe in. You begin to draw that breath all the way down into the stomach. And as you take note of the breath and begin to relax and release the breath, That prompts you to want to take a couple of deeper breaths in through the nose. Feeling that lovely stretch at the top and out through the nose. Releasing all the way down to the very end. And these deeper breaths are here for you whenever you need them. Excellent way to release stress and tension from the body. And just 
Taking a few more breaths here. Toes. Just know that as we move on now into our practice, we're going to take this softening and relaxing with us. So maybe you want to take a deep breath. Maybe you want to stretch out in some way. Just waking the body a little bit more. And then rolling over onto your right side. Pressing into your palm. And coming up into a seated position with the legs straight out in front of you, ready for our first posture. So we're going to take a few minutes in caterpillar pose. So with the legs straight out in front of you, keep those shoulders and face soft. And we're going to sit up nice and tall for a moment, so reach that crown up towards the ceiling. Keep those shoulders soft, lean forwards, and then letting go of the length through the spine, beginning to relax down slowly into the posture so you can allow spine to round neck to relax as we drop the weight of the head forwards and arms find a comfortable position up onto the lap or down onto the floor and if this feels too strong along the back of the body try a cushion under the legs or you could use blocks or even a bolster if you have that available to you. And if your head needs some support, if it's too much for the neck to relax the weight of the head, try stacking blocks in front of you or cushions, whatever you have. Just make a little ledge for the forehead to rest into. And don't worry if you're sitting up much higher, if you're sitting up here. And this is where your body settles. This is not about where we come to. This is about how it feels. So as long as you're getting just a nice amount of stretch, but not too much, something that you can relax into and we're all good. So yin postures are passive. So as you sit here, just allow your body to begin to release and relax. But just very slowly, So just a little bit each time you breathe out. The shoulders are letting go. The jaw is becoming soft. Even the tongue, the muscles in the throat. And you begin to notice just how good it feels. And how badly it was needed. To just stop for a moment. Give that body of yours a chance to begin to release and let go. And you notice that the body is much more willing to let go as you breathe out. It's finding little ways to let go. In its own time, in its own way. And as 
we come towards our last few breaths here. The mind is racing. Just bring your attention back to the body, back to the breath. and slowly walking your hands back in towards you, getting rid of any props that you've been using to the side. Just take a moment here to maybe point and flex the toes or bob the legs. And breathe in, take those shoulders up towards the ears, match them up. Breathe out, draw them down. One more, breathe in. And out and release. We'll move on to banana asana now. So laying down onto the floor. Taking the arms over straight up above you and taking hold just of the wrist or taking hold of the elbows. And if that's too much for the shoulders, you can just take the arms and relax them out a little bit to the sides or even take them down if you need to. But if you can take hold of the elbows and just walking the feet over to the right hand side, keep walking until they go as far as they will. And if you find this left hip lifting up, you want to stop, you've gone too far, so keep those hips even. And just walking the upper body over to the right hand side as well, so head and shoulders can wriggle over. And we can see now why they call it banana asana. We are coming into the shape of a banana. So a nice stretch for the left hand side of the body. And you can relax your arms as much as possible, relax the shoulders. And if you would like to deepen, take your left leg and cross it over the right. Release the breath, let it be smooth. In and out through the nose. But allowing the breath all the way in. all the way out so there's no gripping no holding around the breath if you want to wriggle a little deeper into that banana shape you can but each time that you breathe out you are Allowing your body to find little ways to let go. I'm just beginning to savour the stillness. Enjoying the feeling of softness rest that begins to make its way into the muscles as you breathe. Just enjoying a few more breaths here. Before we walk 
those feet back into center. Walk the upper body back into center. And take the feet over to the left hand side now. As far as they'll go, keep those hips even and level. And then walking that upper body over to the left as well. A little bit of wriggling to get in place. Taking that right foot over the left, if that's feeling good to you. And remember with these yin postures that you can always deepen and you can always back away. That edge, that point where you feel that perfect amount of stretch will always be shifting and changing. So you need to be listening to the body so that you can adapt and respond and give the body what it needs. Okay, so the muscles are still finding little ways to let go. We just, we just hold that invitation there to the body. There's no pressure. We just invite the body to let go as we breathe. breathe out, the more we let go. And that's our only job while we're here. Is to just find little ways to let go. Nothing else matters in this moment. the mind comes in with chatter about the outside world, just gently bring yourself back to your practice, to your body, to the process of softening and letting go. Nothing else matters right now. I'm just enjoying a few more breaths here. back to center, releasing the arms, and maybe we just hug the knees in towards the chest, squeeze them in towards the body and just gently rock from side to side, easing any stiffness from the hips. And we're ready for our next posture now. So coming into a thread needle posture, feet come down onto the floor, bend into the knees and take the right foot up onto your left leg, your left knee, reaching through and taking the hold around the back of the thigh, allowing your shoulders to relax back into the floor and allowing this upper leg to uh, upper egg, <laughs> upper leg to relax down. Soft face. If you want to creep a little deeper, reach up and take hold around the knee. And just take a few breaths here. A little bit of activity needed in the hands and arms here to keep hold. Let the face be soft, let the shoulders relax. 
the muscles in the belly can let go. This is the balance between yin and yang, activity and softness. And the more we breathe out, the more softness we find in this practice. mind may want to wander off and be active, chewing over all those different subjects and angles, concerns, worries, challenges. Maybe the, we can just inwardly smile at the activity of the mind, how busy it wants to be choosing not to follow it today, not in this moment. Just willingly bringing our attention back to the body and giving our body our undivided attention for a little while, making it a priority. Finding little ways to let go as you breathe. Last few breaths here. And releasing that foot down to the floor and taking your left foot up onto your right knee now for the other side. Reaching through, taking a hold around either the back of that thigh for a more gentle posture, or reaching up to take hold around the knee. Relax that head and shoulders back. Don't be afraid in the end to start more gentle. Yin is about finding your way into the body gradually and softly with respect. So not forcing, pushing, no aggression. What you find is that if you take a more gentle edge to begin with, the body feels more safe to begin to open up and it will soon invite you in a little bit deeper and you may take that deeper posture part way through when the body feels ready. That face soft, those shoulders released. Relax around the breath. Drawing that breath all the way down into the belly. mind has wandered, just gently bring yourself back by noticing the here and now. Feel the body, feel the feeling of the body, feel the breath coming and going, feel the muscles letting go. This is how you ground, this is how you arrive in the moment. Last few breaths here. Releasing that leg back down. Both feet down to the floor, hugging the knees in gently, rocking the knees from side to side once more, or stretching the legs up if that feels good. Whatever movement feels nice in between. 
and we're ready for our twist. Okay, so we are ready for our recline twist. So taking the arms down onto the floor, drawing the knees in towards the chest and allowing the knees to make their way down to the right hand side. Control this movement with the stomach so you can just make sure that your, your back is happy with this. Allowing the knees to make their way down, the feet to make their way down. And if you're, you were making your way down there and it felt too much for the back, just get a cushion or a block underneath the knees so the knees aren't going as far. And then looking in the opposite direction, maybe drawing the opposite shoulder down initially and allowing your body to find a relaxed position here. If you want to, you could just have a block in between the knees just to support the top leg. And if your neck doesn't like twisting, you can turn your head back to centre. One more option for those of you that want something a little bit deeper. You can come into twisted root, so you can take your top leg Take it up over the top and tuck it underneath the bottom leg. Okay, so allow your body to slowly give itself over to this twist. You don't need to hurry the relaxation. Just a little bit at a time. Be in the here and now. Breathe. And just enjoy finding little ways to let go. Like nothing else matters in this moment more than. Drawing the breath all the way down into the belly, helping to calm that nervous system. And scanning around, picking up on any hidden pockets of tension. trying to let go, but just allowing tension to fall away. So the last few breaths here. Drawing those knees back into centre. Hug them in for a moment. And then we're ready to come down to the other side. So, taking the knees in and down to the left. Looking over in the opposite direction. You can take that twisted roots position. You can support with a block under the knees or in between. Letting the eyes close, the body soften into the posture. Allow the muscles through the back to relax and give themselves over to the twist. Reaching 
Eve into the connective tissue and fascia of the body when we practice in this way. The longer we're here, the more we relax and let go, the more effectively we reach the deep tissue and release the deep tissue. Inviting that body to let go. Relax as much as you can. And then relax some more. Really tension falls away from the body in layers. There's that obvious layer that comes off first. But over time as we breathe, and as we scan around and tune into the body, Find more and more little hidden pockets of tension that we didn't know were there. Enjoying your last few breaths here. And drawing those knees back into centre. Hug those knees in towards the chest. Rock them from side to side. Take the feet down to the floor, the knees out to the side into a reclined butterfly posture. You can have a cushion under the back of the head if you want to, or cushions under the thighs to support the knees or hips if they're getting too much stretch. And it might feel nice to do some cactus arms out to the sides or to take the arms up above you. Just to really open up the chest. Letting the thighs and the hips let go. And ask yourself now, is there anywhere at all in your body that feels ready to let go that hasn't already. And then the key to releasing tension is to be with the body, to feel into it. Half of the battle is being here to notice the tension. Once you sense it there, quite easy to breathe out and just allow it to fall away as you breathe. If you don't rush the body, you'll find that it's very willing to let go as you breathe out.
rest here. And just know that although we're coming towards the end of our practice, this body consciousness and softening of the muscles is something that naturally tends to continue after your practice anyway. So it's not all over yet. Let those knees come together, maybe help them hug the knees in towards the chest. I'm just enjoying whatever changes, whatever shifts there have been in your body. And just lay the body flat for a moment now for a closing Shavasana. Maybe you can bend the knees and rest the knees in together if that's more comfortable. And have a cushion under the back of the head. Soften those shoulders again. Soften the face, the jaw. Just take a few breaths here. Just be here for the moment. Feeling the feeling of the body. Feeling the feeling of the breath. No need to be anywhere else but here. If you want to stay for a little longer here, then please do. If you're ready, you can begin to wake the body. Thank you for being here with me for this practice. I hope it helped. And I hope to see you next time subscribe and the bell to stay up to date with my weekly videos.